Alright then. Bit tired? Ah. Rest good tonight then. Get your strength back. It's alright. I should have written down that password. Some paper ready so I can do that. I'm doing good, thank you. It's not too hot at the moment. The weather is just the way I like it. <laughs> not too hot, not too cold. This game, so this first stage, so many times that I know it by heart by now. It's the later stages that I don't know nearly as well. an axe in it, so I don't want it. I've got to use the right weapon for the boss in this game. But sometimes you can find yourself stuck with a weapon that really isn't the one that you want to beat certain bosses. Alright, didn't get hit. No damage bonus. <laughs> Alright. Into Dracula's castle. I remember in Symphony of the Night, you have to let one of these guys th throw a barrel like this and it destroys a passage in the ground where, where you can go down to the catacombs or something. Yeah, that one's a knife. Uh, yeah, this one is on the SNES, yeah. It's the second Castlevania game released on it after Castlevania 4. Uh, 
Yeah, it's uh. Wait a moment. Yeah. You hadn't even heard of it before. Yeah, it's uh. Yeah, this one. Yeah, although I'm playing it on an emulator here before, uh, because it's easier to uh, capture video from a uh, from an emulator than from the original console. But yeah, it's this one. <laughs> You'd like to try it out now? Uh, I, I, I'm not sure if it's on the virtual console that one. Come to think of it, I'm not sure. I think it has to be, but I'm not sure. I think on the Wii U Virtual Console it has to be on there. Because, yeah, the original cartridge is really pricey these days. Much more so than Castlevania 4, importantly. Makes more sense why Richter is in Smash. Yeah. Yeah, he was a playable, a bonus playable character in um, one of the DS games also, I think. I think he's a bonus playable character that you can unlock in Portrait of Ruin and Order of Ecclesia on the, on the Nintendo DS. But I, I'm not 100% sure. And then he was in Symphony of the Night as well. Since he's even a boss in, in Symphony of the Night. Oh yeah, you can use your SNES Mini, yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, be prepared though, because it's way more challenging than Castlevania 4. Did you try that new one based on Castlevania? Hold on, hold on a second. Uh, it's on Switch. A new one that is based on Castlevania? I haven't heard of that. No, I haven't heard of that, no. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, bl uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon or something like that, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, a spin-off for the... The next game that Koji Garashi, who made Symphony of the Night, is working on, which will be coming to the Switch later, yeah. No, I haven't tried it yet because I'm waiting to see if we're going to get a physical release for that. But I would really, really like to try it. Yeah, it's more in line with the, S with the NES games than anything else, yeah. Yeah, and the, f the full game, I mean, the, like, the, the really new game tailored for the Switch is a Bloodstained um, Ritual of the Night. Yeah, if you hold down the Y button that you use for the whip, you can moonwalk. It it's especially useful because... Medusa heads and bats are always spawned in the direction f to, to where the hero is looking. So that way you, you can just continue moving forward, but while looking ah oh shit, but while looking backwards, and uh, they they just keep following you instead of appearing in front of you. You look like a fool doing it, but it's really useful, though. <laughs> hey, 
respond to it all the time. <laughs> well, you have to know when to use it, obviously. So that it doesn't screw you over. <laughs> That was a bit of a shortcut there, using the bone tower. Okay, here I have to pay attention not to fall down. Otherwise, I can't save the girl because I get transported to a different stage. And I don't like this section because I, uh, I mess up pretty often. Don't push me back. I hate knockback in Castlevania games. They should never have invented that mechanic. Here I'm doing this so that the Medusa heads spawn <laughs> to the right instead of to the left. So that they can't knock me back. Okay, I need that key. at full health. I'm not going to get the no damage bonus for finishing the stage with full health. Okay, and here I'm supposed to write down that password. If I fail, I can always start the stage from the beginning instead of uh, having to restart the whole game. Because if I lose that key, I have no, no chance of getting another one. I need it to save Maria and then to access stage uh, five, 5 prime or something like that. I should have just ducked here. restart the stage from the beginning because I don't have the key anymore already uh, and the thing is all the extra lives that I won I'm, I don't have them anymore now 
Of course there had to be a bat spawning right on that spot. If I could get to that piece of meat that's that's further in the stage without getting hit anymore, that would be fine. Fuck's sake. Are you kidding me? I got even I I didn't even get as far as the previous try. <sighs> and I usually can do this in one go too. a knife. Not even gonna try to get these. Behind the, the foreground scenery as well. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Don't let that guy catch up. Was the the piece of meat for fuck's sake? Uh, going for the best ending is really not easy. Let's <laughs> go. 
Let's try to play better. I'm not hit nearly as much. Don't face that direction. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get out of here! F hurry! <laughs> I get healed by Mar Maria when I get there anyway. Ah! There's more to, uh, to to the conversation in Japanese, actually. She, she she does wish him good luck at the end or something like that. <sighs> Let's take our time and destroy them because they're really annoying otherwise. I just have to survive this section and then I don't have to worry about a key or anything later. Come on, it's only this section. There's another flea man. Okay, well, let's get out of here. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. Need that. You have to go through that door with it. And then it's on to the next stage and you don't fight the boss on this one. Because the, the other girl is in this stage. So yeah, stage 5 prime or 5 dash or... Uh, However you want to call it. I hate this part. I hate this part. Well, it went well considering. Oh, 
watch out for the spikes at the bo yeah at the bottom of that platform there they hurt pretty bad Speaking of spikes, Save the second girl, you do this. You have to know it, obviously, because the game doesn't tell you. <laughs> She heals you too? Yeah, she does. To think that there are five girls to rescue in the PC Engine game, not just two. But that's not the main reason why people prefer the PC Engine version over this one in general. Doesn't mean it's a bad game, it's just not as awesome of a game as the PC Engine game. again. Oh, he's almost dead already. Okay. He is very easy, but that's good because he's otherwise very annoying. Ah, uh, shit, yeah, he does that too comes back to hit you one last time when you think you've defeated it. Now the real challenge begins. The last two stages are really tough. Especially the boss at the end of this one. Rather do this and be safe. Getting on that platform, am I? Please 
please don't die. So far, so good. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Fuck's sake. Simple jump onto a platform is a real challenge in this tower. And the virtual absence of invincibility frames is uh, only aggravating. Well, I got to the bus in the end, but I don't have much health, though. What to do, what to do? Do I take the knife or do I remain with the axe? Because both can be useful. Well, I'll keep the axe and I'll switch over to the knife if I die. I think the axe deals a little bit more damage. gonna be tough. Ah, yeah. <sighs> ah, he's a tough son of a bitch. Yeah, obviously the, the, the extra life doesn't spawn back. <laughs> As expected. That's it, right? Yeah, he's coming. Oh, that was one for the ages. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't reproduce the exact <laughs> same chain of events if I if I was trying to do it on purpose.
Oh. I don't feel like I'm going to get him on this try. I don't know if ducking can pr protect you in these instances. It seems like you're, there is not enough room under his a uh, under his sickle for me to not get hit. His hitbox is uh, weird as well. Because the bottom of his cape can hit you, but you can hit the bottom of his cape. It doesn't register any damage if you hit it there. Which is completely unfair, but well, that's how it is. was empty <sighs> and it is a challenging boss even at the at the best of times so no surprise there I jumped down there like an idiot. Well, this is the last try anyway now. I was too greedy. I wanted to get more hits into him before uh, before I decided to go off camera. There, see, I, I hate that because I can't see where he is. Come on, die now. At last. <laughs> Not much of a bonus there. Yeah, I dreaded this boss more than I dread actual Dracula at the end. <laughs> Yeah, 
here the stage itself is is not too hard. go down but I, I would risk it getting me anyway as I go down the stairs so There's meat over there, but... Yeah, I'm not gonna get it now. It's going to despawn if I try to get it anyway, so... you do get the axe let that other thing despawn for it to spawn on one of these platforms where it's easy to get. <laughs> and I jumped down like an idiot again. Well, it's good because that stage isn't all that long. Yeah, they just keep spawning from the right no matter what in this case. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Ah! And I jumped into the spikes. I try my best not, not to get hit, but it's not easy. Uh, 
Alright, that's how you do it. Don't jump, you idiot! If you're not gonna be able to dodge them, you better just crouch. Since that negates the knockback. Getting that meat, I'm already full. That's twice. Twice that he knocks me back like that. I know I can do it. I've beaten this game countless times already. <laughs> It's not that hard. Now, oh, if only he could get good RNG. Yeah, because in case that wasn't already pretty obvious, this is completely random. There is no no pattern to this. Don't jump! I made the same mistake again. I keep making the same stupid mistake. Okay, 
now he's going to be, do his big balls of doom. Okay, well, if that was pretty easy to dodge. of doom okay big balls of doom He knocked me back. Ah. Almost there, almost there. It is a challenging boss at the best of times, so. Not feeling too ashamed right now. That jump, that lame jump, lame ass jump. <laughs> and it's entirely my fault, I didn't control that well. We'll get that meat while I can. Big pose of doom. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, almost there. So annoying. Just keep spawning where I can hit him. Three more hits. Got you, I think. I thought so, <laughs> but that wasn't the case. I should have jumped onto the other platform, but I didn't dare. I was too too frightened. It was in the ideal spot, but because that platform is the lowest of all, so you can always escape that. Uh, Big whoop, blue magical wave of doom that that he throws when you're standing there or crouching there, more like.
Here we go again. Ah! Well, that sucks. So slow. Come on. Well, there you go. You don't want to be moving around too much because. When you don't know where he's going to appear and you try to jump in his direction, well, by the time you get there, it's already too late anyway. running this thing I would be pretty happy with the RNG on this one but I'm not so it doesn't matter all that much to me but I'm so glad that it's not too slow I'm done. Well, that's Dracula X for you. That took longer than I expected, but well, I got there in the end. <laughs> when you think that people just can beat this thing in like 15 minutes. That puts things in perspective, doesn't it? Took me about an hour. <laughs> well, I'll let the credits roll. Well, what could I stream next time? Uh, well, I'd like to stream the PC Engine game at some point. I would really like to. That would be good. Is not Mr. Iwata but did the sound design. They're probably not even related. <laughs> yeah, the usual uh, anonymous people of Konami games. Papa, Papa did something yeah, for this game, yeah. 
You know Papa? Ever heard of Papa? That's it. That, that's kind of anticlimactic for an ending, don't you think? Because there is not even any texts or anything. Yeah, you just get to see this uh, still image of uh, the two girls and Richter because you saved both the girls. And that's it, pretty much. That's Dracula Hex for you. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching, lurking and all that good stuff. Yeah, that will go on to YouTube even if it's not my best performance ever. Well, that's still going to go on there anyway. Okay, bye guys. Have a good afternoon. Enjoy.